Hey folks, this is Chris with Oregon Figs. It's November 16th, 2022. And this is just gonna be a short tutorial on um, pruning for shape with your fig trees. So one thing you always wanna do is go out and buy some isopropyl alcohol. This is 91%. It doesn't really matter what the percentage is. Just buy isopropyl alcohol and make sure you uh, sanitize your tools between trees. You don't have to sanitize when you're on one tree, but when you go to another tree, you always want to sanitize. You can see on the top of these pruning snips, there's a little residual latex, and that's the stuff you want to get off. You want to clean them thoroughly. These are ARS pruners. They're made in Japan. Model number is VS8. The thing I like about these is it's all one-handed. So you squeeze them tight and you push this little button up top and they're locked. Then you just grab them and they're unlocked. Very convenient. All, all one hand, right? Just, it's nice and fast. High quality pruners. So you need some good pruners. You need good habits with the isopropyl alcohol. And get yourself some loppers. These are from the Ironwood Tool Company. Their model number IW-1421. They'll, they'll cut about an inch and a half diameter, much faster than a saw. These are invaluable. So those are the tools of the trade. Now let's look at the three trees we're gonna talk about today. This is Red Lebanese Bacaw Valley that was started in 2019 from a cutting from my buddy Steve in Maryland. This is Eskia Black, started from a cutting from Harvey, same year. This is Sal Miguel Rocho. It was uh, an air layer from Wills, same year, all 2019, all in 15 gallon, all fed the same, the same potting mix, grown side by side. So these trees, as you can see, they all have a similar diameter and it's nice they've done well and as the tree gets older you see that beautiful gray color now this tree here i have two of the red lebanese bacaw valleys one in ground and one in a pot i like it so much in a pot i want to keep one in a pot it's so productive this one i let grow up probably 24 inches off the ground and i actually use my pruning snips to cut and after it had developed quite a bit of girth and that creates this hole this hole can fill with water and it can cause rot and it can cause problems so now what i do is i actually go a little bit higher than 24 i actually maybe get up closer to 30 and i let the single stem and i pinch it you pinch right there and your scaffolds start and i keep three scaffolds to begin with or four three is nice because it gives you the martini glass shape as you can see this is a pretty good example of the martini glass shape and what that does is it allows more um, open space in the middle so you can get more light all over the tree and you create your scaffolds and you prune your scaffolds after you after they're developed to allow that open space to continue so this one's been cut this year Real happy with the shape of my Red Lebanese Bacaw Valley. It produced a ton of figs this year. My Ischia Black, more of an upright position. It's actually going in ground. My orchard next year, um, the idea is that I'm going to try to put it in ground for the Braba crop. And let's, we'll see how that goes. I don't know if anyone else has actually done that. But the Braba is fantastic on this. So I've let this grow more upright. Both trees don't expand beyond the diameter of the pot all that much. See, if you look at the edge of the pots and you go up the trees, see there isn't that much going horizontally beyond the edge of the pot. This is rather ideal because you reduce your footprint of the pots. You can put the pots closer together, especially if you're limited for space. So this is how a lot of them will grow. This is San Miguel Rocho aka Azores Dark and you can see if you look at the blue 
tags that I put on, if you take all of those off, those limbs off that have the blue tags, then you see the martini shape. So what I need to do is come over here and look at the edge of the pot. Comes up to right about here. So from that section on, that's all horizontal growth that needs to come off. So because this is lower growth as well, I'm gonna probably pinch, take it back here and cut it off for cuttings. Same thing here, you've got that horizontal growth on this limb. I'm gonna take that off. You got one back there. Same principle, lower, pretty horizontal growth that's gonna make that footprint wider. This one does the same thing. It takes and it stretches the footprint out. So if you look at the footprint on Sal Miguel, Rocho, and look and added both sides together, you're probably adding two feet to the width of the footprint between trees. So wonderful to pull that back, right? And get back to this martini glass shape. You can do so many things from this shape. This is a modified martini glass shape. And this, you can see, you can see them. Once you take this limb out, that limb out, and that those two in the back, you, you see that martini glass shape. That's what I'm doing on my trees. My in-ground trees, I try to get more upright growth because I've got an issue with, with bucks coming in and rubbing. And I wanna keep the footprint of the in-ground trees contained as well. The potted trees, it's kind of somewhere in between, right? And when a tree gets out of hand, like Sal Miguel Rocho has, you have to take cuttings. You have to take cuttings, and it all relates to your overall plan of what you're trying to do. So I hope this explains things a little bit better. Remember, use that isopropyl alcohol between trees. You always want to keep your cuts clean. Um, remember, you can see, if you imagine a cylinder, it really helps. If you imagine that this pot starting right here at the edge kind of came up and made a cylinder. So there's the pot and it goes up and it makes the cylinder. You don't want too much of the growth on the outside of the cylinder. That's that's the way you, you see it visually. So, hey, I hope this helps and uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'd appreciate a subscription and a like if you're so inclined. It's fun. It's fun. Shaping the trees is really fun. There's no doubt about that. You don't want too much too close together. This one's got three. By taking this outer one, which is spreading the horizontal diameter, and leaving two, I have less in there. It's nice. You don't want to have too much. You don't want anything crossing. You don't want anything uh, going. Sometimes you'll see branches that are going from the outside, and they're coming in, especially they're not even coming in at a nice angle. They're coming in horizontally you don't want that I'll keep those clean and keep the center of that martini glass or uh, the martini glass open I guess is what I'm thinking of and you might want to keep the martini glass full of martinis as well we'll see you on the next one